so we have gone through the end to end process flow and then we started looking into freight unit and uh, what is the freight unit type what does it make a sense for that one what are the different fields into it which are required uh, then the freight unit building rule how that freight unit creation takes place and uh, there are three parameters onto which the freight unit creation impacts so uh, that we have seen then we were working on that profile creation and conditions for freight unit building rule uh, these were done so that the requirement coming from s4 side so sales order or delivery which gets uh, converted into a freight unit in tm should have that uh, identification and basically should be helping us out in the detailing of that freight unit uh, so last time we stopped there and there was a assignment for you guys to do the freight unit creation and <clears throat> i think the assignment was this one that you were asked to create your own freight unit types then create freight unit building rule and integration profile for that and see how to test that one so far uh, so i would like to know whether you guys have at least went into that one and check that in the system so what are we going to cover today so as per the process flow as you see here we were doing the freight unit creation and then the planning was carried out so the planning was done using the transportation cockpit so today we are going to check and see what are the different aspects of transportation cockpit the page setup selection profiles planning profiles and if time permits then go to, go into the freight order document type which would be the next one which is in the line okay uh, <clears throat> so i'm um, quickly going into the uh, system where we would be having that uh, checking the whole thing okay so let's go back to our home page and let's go to the transportation cockpit so it is under the planning tile of tm side so if you go to the planning tile of the transportation cockpit there you will see so many tiles under which one application is a transportation cockpit so whenever you create or click on it system is going to run it because as of now i have only one selection profile which is used for that whole uh, thing that's why it is allowing me to do that uh, the thing is when we you see this whole thing uh, there on left hand side you see freight unit stages or freight units then road freight orders then you have here multiple resources then certain data particular to the freight order and there is a gantt chart for you to see there okay so how this happens and what are the basically uh, certain things which are required for you to do these things so that is what we are going to see the another one is the change planning profile so if i want to do that it should be come on so uh, that is what i wanted to change so it will show up there but it looks like i have to go back and do it from the other side so that one you need to do from this profiles and settings under there 
there are multiple tabs so you have to choose the PLS tab for cockpit so PLS management for transportation cockpit this is nothing but page layout setup okay that's a PLS short form for it and here you can maintain multiple of those these are the different uh, somebody did it okay so here are like three layout sections here based on which <clears throat> that uh, transportation cockpit is opening for you hmm? uh, we can add as many as we want and that can be specific so here i can manage whether it is possible for everyone or all users okay so that's easily so whenever anybody goes there he should be able to see that one and accordingly we can do that so what i have done is this freight order layout of transportation cockpit which has been used by you guys for transportation cockpit uh, display screen and taking certain actions so that is what we are going to uh, uh, configure here today okay so that is here the page layout and transportation cockpit okay so here if you go and since this is a customization i'm going to put it under one transport okay so let me walk you through one which i already created but we will be creating another one based on uh, how that needs to be done okay so uh, or let's start doing it so i'm going to name it ad01 layout okay or i just say ad01 and the description is ad01 layout <clears throat> okay so that's the layout name so what would be under it so let me go into that one and that's the description transportation proposal layout would be that so let's see one by one okay whether it is specific for individual user or for everyone so in real world it would be based on user role and according to user role you give this authorization to them <clears throat> or uh, if your organization wants that layout to be uh, based on a user then you always want this to be individual user based thing for me i'm going to make it available for everyone so that's the possible okay uh, page layout switch so i'm going to add a page layout switch okay what happened so i can switch it from my uh, this profile page ad01 to freight order whether i want all that to be or I can add all page layout so everybody can be able to see that one. Okay. Uh, whether you want additional windows in it. So this is possible. So what is that one? Ah, come on. Uh, okay. Let me walk through that one afterwards. As of now, let me take it out. Then you will have this push buttons okay uh, i will open up this one for quickly for you guys and you should be able to see that one okay so let me do one thing I will resize my window so you guys should be able to see that both screens together. Okay. Uh, 